Welcome to Minity Maths. This video will explain the four transformations in maths. To transform a shape means to change its size or position. There are four different ways we can transform a shape. Translation, rotation, reflection, and enlargement. Let's look at translation. Translation changes the shape's position. The shape can be translated left, right, up, or down. We measure these movements in units. Let's look at an example. We need to describe how shape A is translated to shape B. The description must include two details, the change in position horizontally and the change in position vertically. To calculate these changes, pick any vertex of the shape and use this to count how many units the shape has moved horizontally and vertically. We can also use vectors to describe translations. Next we are going to look at rotation. Rotation also changes the shape's position. To describe rotation, we must provide three details. The angle of rotation. The direction. And finally the center of rotation. This is the point that the shape has been rotated around. You may find tracing paper helps with finding the center of rotation. The third transformation is reflection. Reflection changes a shape's position. Reflection can be described using only one detail, the equation of the line of reflection. It can help to think of this line as a mirror. Each vertex of the new shape, and each corresponding vertex of the original shape, will be an equal distance from the mirror line. The final transformation is enlargement. Enlargement changes the shape's size. To describe an enlargement we need two details, the scale factor and the center of enlargement. We can find the scale factor by measuring the length of one side. We measure this side for both the new and old shapes. We can then divide the new length by the old length to see how much it has increased or decreased. To find the center of enlargement, we draw lines from the corresponding vertices of the new shape and old shape, extending them until they cross. The point at which they cross is the center of enlargement. Have a go at these practice questions and pause the video while you figure them out. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more maths videos.